Welcome to the last lesson in Unit 5. Today we are going to use context clues to solve for the part, the whole, or the percent. We're going to look at two word problems. And the trickiest thing about the word problems is figuring out what we're solving for. So here's the first problem. It says, 48 middle schoolers try out for the volleyball team. 25% of them make the team. And then the question says, how many middle schoolers are on the team? So one of the very first things I notice is the percent sign. So I'm going to highlight that. It's green, and there's a number right in front. I'm going to highlight it twice there so it's nice and green. I don't have to solve for the percent, right? But if you notice, right after the percent sign is the word of. So it says of, and then it says them. Them is a pronoun. I'm going to write that down. Them is a pronoun. It stands for something that they've already talked about, right? So them um, doesn't mean anything by itself. If I said, look at them, you wouldn't know who or what I was talking about. But because the them in this problem comes in the second sentence, it refers back to the subject of the first sentence. So if I look back at the first sentence, what I need to ask myself is, who is this about? This sentence is about the 48 middle schoolers. This is the them. This is the whole it's not 48 whole middle schoolers. It's the whole group that tried out for the team. So I'm gonna write that down too. Whole group was, tw was 48 students. All right, that's the whole group that tried out. Not everybody who tried out made the team. 25% of them did. So you can see that we have our green, we have our percent, we have our orange, we have our whole. So we are going to be solving for the part of the group that made the team. All right, so let's go through and do some work down here. The whole group of kids that are trying out is 48. So that goes at the bottom on the end. That's our whole group, 100% of the group was 48 kids. 0% of the group is zero kids. Now in this problem, we were given the percent, it's 25%, so I'm gonna write that in. 25% equals 25 on top of 100. And if we leave it this way, we need to make 100 parts. So we're gonna simplify, divide top and bottom by the same number. This looks like quarters to me. Divide by 25. Divide by 25. So now I have one quarter in 25 cents, and I have four quarters in 100 cents, or a whole dollar. Okay, so now I need to make this bar down here be one fourth. So I'm going to cut it into four ish, and then I'm going to number them. One, two, three, four. The numerator is one, so I'm going to color in one of those parts. All right. And remember, oh, let's try coloring in one more time. That was a little bit icky. There we go. That's a little bit better. Remember, in the work, in simplifying the fractions, I'm going to zoom back in, I divided by 25. So because this denominator was for the percent, this means the percents get counted by 25. So that's on the top, 25%. Hey, and it said 25% of the kids made the team. So this is right, 50%, 75%, I'm counting by quarters, I'm counting by 25s. All right, but now I have to figure out the part of the group so I actually want the number of students, not the percent. 
I want the number of students. So to do that, I can see that the whole group was 48. And the whole rectangle got cut into four equal groups. So this problem is now 48 split into four equal groups. Right? I can also see this without a calculator as 48 is 40 plus 8. So I can divide both of those by 4. So 40 divided by 4 is 10. 80 divided by 4 is 2. So 10 plus 2 is 12. So that means the answer to this problem is 12. This is my count by number on the bottom. So I'm counting by a dozen. Add 10, add 2. So I have 12. Add 10 is 22 plus 2 is 24. Add 10 is 34 plus 2 is 36. Add 10 is 46 plus 2 is 48. So this pattern works on the bottom as well. So if I want to solve this problem, I need to find the part, 25%, and underneath the 25%, at the end of the pink part, is the number 12. This is the number of students on the volleyball team. There are 12 students on the team. Or should I write that? Um, I'll write it back up here after the question. 12 kids made the team. All right. So again, the trickiest part to these, we've done a bunch of these problems. The trickiest part in words is figuring out what the percent is, although that part's not tricky. It's figuring out that other number. So in 48, was that part or was that whole? All right, let's look at one more example. Of the 300 students at her school, 180 of Ryla's classmates voted for her for president. Those are the black words. There was an important word that I didn't say there. Of the 300 students at her school, 180 of Ryla's classmates voted for her for president. The word that I didn't say is that green word, percent. If I didn't say percent, that means we're probably solving for it. If I look in the purple words, there it is. What percent of the students solved for Ryla? All right, so that means that in this problem, yep, we're going to solve for percent. So our answer is going to be somewhere between 0 and 100. All right. However, there's two other numbers in here. There's 300 and 180. I see the word of twice. Right? I see of Ryla's classmates. And I see of the 300 students at her school. Right? So which one is it? Is it of the 300 students or of her classmates? Well, it's actually both because the classmates that it's talking about is the students from the previous sentence. So the whole, and remember that's on the denominator, the whole is 300. That means at this point, we'd have to take this bar and cut it into 300 parts. Hopefully by now you know that we're not going to do that. All right, so if we have the denominator, then we need the part. So it's not the whole school that voted for her. Only some of them or part of the school voted for her, right? So this one's a little bit tricky because it's separated. I can see voted for her, but where are the students who voted for her? It's in front of the word of here. It's 180. 180 voted for her, right? So that 180 is the part. Again, we are not, we are not going to split that bar into 300 parts. Instead, I can immediately divide by 10 because I see that both of these numbers end in zero. Divide by 10, cross it out. Oh, yeah, and I see an 18 on the top and 30 on the bottom. Those are both even numbers, so I can divide them in half, divide by two, divide by two, 
and then I see a 9 and a 15. Now, they're both odd, so our brain sometimes thinks that we're done, but we're not done. I, there's an odd number that's a factor of both of these. And almost always that odd number is going to be 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Make that pink. And 3 times 5 is 15. So instead of dividing that bar into 300 parts, I get to divide it into 5 parts because that's our denominator. Boy, 5 comes up a lot. All right, pretty good. I'm going to write in my numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I need to color in three of those parts. So our answer to this problem is going to be the percent that is on the top at the end of the third part. And some of you already know what number that's going to be. Right? So one way that I can see it is the percents at the end of the bar is 100%. So I'm going to write that down, 100%. And I split the whole bar into five parts. A hundred divided by five, we've done this a bunch of times, is 20. That means I should be able to count by 20 on the top. 20% plus 20 is 40%, plus 20 is 60%, plus 20 is 80%. Yep, and there's a hundred. To be double sure, then I'm going to go back and put in the other numbers. Remember, there were 300 total students. And if I want to find what to divide by, sorry, not what to divide by, but what to count by on the bottom, I'm going to start instead of with 100%. Let's try that again. Instead of with 100%, I'm going to start with the bottom number, 300. Let's zoom back in here. 300, because there were 300 in the whole school split into five. Now, notice how there's a zero at the end. I'm going to write that zero at the end. And then if I ignore that zero, there's a 30 in front. There are six fives in 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that means I can put a six in the front of this zero, and it's counting by 60. Or counting by six and putting a zero at the end. So let's do that. Here's 60. 6 plus 6 is 12 with a 0. 12 plus 6 is 18 with a 0. Hey, take a look. Underneath the 60% is 180. And that's how many kids voted for Ryla. So this means we've done everything right. So let's keep going, though. 18 plus 6 is 24 with a 0. And 24 plus 6 is 30 with a 0. All right, in class, we are going to be practicing finding the part and the whole and the percent and figuring out where each of those goes in our tape model.